welcome to e-learning course on applied thermodynamics module reciprocating compressor session effect of clearance volume and different forms of efficiencies used for analysis of a reciprocating compressor myself ramesh bhar assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering jain institute of technology daungere to start with we will discuss effect of clearance volume so we will make use of a pv diagram so there is a clearance volume represented with v3 here and there is one more clearance volume with represented with v3 dash so what is clearance volume it is a space in between piston and cylinder head when the piston reaches tdc when the piston is in tdc there will be a some space provided between the piston and the cylinder head and the space is called as clearance volume this clearance will have significant effect on work done per cycle and it is illustrated in the pv diagram the effect of variations of clearance volume on work of compression is clear that when the clearance volume is increased from point 3 to 0.3 dash you can see here the volume of clearance is increased from v3 to v3 dash the area representing 1 2 3 dash 4 dash and 1 the representing work done per cycle for increased clearance volume is less than the area 1 2 3 4 and 1 thus if you increase the clearance there will be a significant decrease in the work done per cycle so you can observe here i will repeat once again when the clearance volume is increased from 0.3 to 3 dash the area representing 1 2 3 4 dash and 1 for work done during that cycle will be increased but the volume is less than the area 1 2 3 4 and 1 that means the net work done of the area 1 2 3 dash 4 dash is less when compared to the work done of 1 2 3 4 and 1 so ultimately thus if increase in what clearance volume takes place we can say that decrease in work done per cycle will happen so this this is a effect what we can observe in, with respect to clearance volume so moving on to some of the important uh, efficiencies related to compressor the first one is isothermal efficiency so in most of the applications compressed air is stored in the receiver and used after cooling it in such a case heat is lost to surroundings so isothermal compression is desirable from point of view work point of view but runs at very slow the isothermal efficiency of compressor in such a case is defined as the ratio of isothermal work to uh, isothermal work to actual polytropic work so isothermal compression cannot be achieved in practice but an attempt is made to approach the isothermal case by cooling the compressor either by addition of cooling fins or water jackets the second one is adiabatic efficiency it is defined as the ratio of work done in compressor with reversible adiabatic compression Uh, work and it is mathematically we can write it as reversible adiabatic work or irreversible adiabatic work the third one is mechanical efficiency it is defined as the ratio of uh, indicated power of the compressor to the power input of to the compressor and next is overall efficiency so overall efficiency is defined as the ratio of an adiabatic or isothermal power to shaft power so this gives a overall efficiency of a compressor 
so next this is one of the important terminology which is free air delivery in short we can call it as FAD free air delivery is the actual volume of air delivered under the conditions of temperature and pressure existing at the compressor intake it is usually expressed in meter cube per minute free air delivery is important parameter that measures capacity of a compressor in terms of the air flow it can handle it is normally at at a standard sea level atmospheric conditions moving on to next one that is volumetric efficiency volumetric efficiency is defined as the ratio of free air delivery that is fad over compressor by the compressor to the shaft volume or displacement of the compressor so sim mathematically we can write it as fad over shaft volume vs so fad is given by v1 minus v4 and shaft volume is given by v1 minus v3 you can uh, observe in your pv diagram so fad is a free air delivery which is equal to uh, v1 minus v4 which is taken as the effective shaft volume in pv diagram uh, here you can check here it is a effective shaft volume and Uh, the shaft volume of the cylinder is given by this v3 and v1 so v1 minus v3 will give the shaft volume so by addition and subtraction in the numerator with v3 so we can write it as v1 minus v4 plus v3 minus v3 addition and subtraction of v3 in the numerator and denominator we will get v1 minus v3 and after simplifying or rearranging the terms in the numerator we will get v1 minus v3 plus v3 minus v4 or v1 minus v3 so after simplification we will get 1 plus v3 minus v4 or v1 minus v3 further by rearranging the terms here we can write it as 1 plus v3 or v1 minus v3 minus v4 or v1 minus v3 by splitting numerator here from this term and it is named as equation number 2 so now we know that clearance ratio c is equal to so vc over vs that is clearance volume over shaft volume it is a clearance ratio and from pv diagram we can say that so vc is equal to v3 you can observe it vc is equal to v3 and vs is equal to v1 minus total volume minus clearance volume v3 therefore so c that is clearance ratio can be written as v3 over v1 minus v3 so in this expression volumetric expression so v3 over v1 minus v3 is replaced with capital c which is a clearance ratio so on the expression becomes 1 plus c minus v4 over v1 minus v3 and it is named as equation number 3 further moving from expansion process 3 4 in your pv diagram following the law polytropic process we have v4 over v3 is equal to p3 over p4 whole to the power of 1 by n and this can be written as v4 is equal to v3 into p3 over p4 whole to the power of 1 by n and we are going to replace v4 with this relation and also we have p3 is equal to p2 and p4 is equal to p1 so either you can write substitute for p3 or p4 or you can substitute for p2 or p1 and after substituting for v4 in equation 3 we will get this expression so now we also know that v3 or v1 minus v3 as c from previous case that is clearance ratio and simplifying this expression that is by taking c as common we will get 1 plus c into 1 minus this term p2 or p1 whole to the power of 1 by n or else you can also write this one as 1 minus c into p2 by p1 whole to the power of 1 by n minus 1 by interchanging these two terms here the uh, positive term becomes negative and it is clear from the above e- equation the volumetric efficiency of a single stage compressor depends on the clearance ratio c pressure ratio p2 over p1 and index of compression that is n further we will see effect of clearance on volumetric efficiency so we will make use of the diagram where uh, on one of the axis we have percentage of volume 
and on the other axis we have the percentage of clearance. So, it is clear from the graph that for a given pressure ratio the volumetric efficiency decreases linearly with an increase in clearance ratio. So, if you observe this diagram it is clear that if pressure ratio uh, increases or for a pre given pressure ratio here the pressure ratio taken is 2 that is P 2 over P 1 is equal to 2 and, and the polytropic process value N is equal to 1.2. For this case, so what we can observe here as the volumetric efficiency increases here as the volumetric efficiency increases. So, the clearance ratio linearly decreases it is decreasing towards or you can say that as the volumetric efficiency decreases so clearance ratio increases this is the observation what we can make with respect to effect of clearance on volumetric efficiency and this is the end of session on uh, effect of clearance and some of the terminologies of efficiencies related to reciprocating compression. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe to my channel BRMEC Academy.